Hey Slowheads, I know it's been a minute since I've made some videos and whatnot. I've uh, just been busy. School and work, you know, the nor normal for me, I guess. But um, I haven't really, I guess, I started making videos on that CNC machine. I made that one and I never did put part two up. I do have part two. I need to still edit it actually. But um, here I am today and I've actually, I've finished it. So kind of wanted to show you guys that. I still have plan on putting part two up. I need to do that. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that I finished. If any of y'all are interested in part two, uh, just let me know. I may not put it up. It may not need to be put up. But if you have any information or if you need any information on this machine, just uh, let me know. But anyway, let's check this thing out. So here it is. I just uh, finished it like 15 minutes ago. I'm kind of uh, impressed. I haven't powered it on yet. It's getting kind of late and I need to go get into bed and stuff for work tomorrow, be responsible. I still have a mess in the garage for that I need to clean up from wiring this thing up. But how it runs on the rails. So there's this piece of three quarter uh, conduit here. There's bearings, skateboard bearings in here. And then over here, same same piece as the front one. It's just in the, in the back there. And then here's a stepper motor here and here. This is the one for Y axis. So Y is back and forth, Y1 or um, Y positive, Y negative. Um, same thing for that side. So you got Y1, Y2 over there. But it just moves along this belt here all the way. And then the limit switch hits right here. So it knows to, to stop. Uh, three quarter conduit across the rail here. Another belt with another stepper over there. I'll show you in just a second. Here is uh, the one stepper for Z. So this is Z1. Z2 will be right here. And then you got X left and right. And that stepper is right here. And it runs on this, this belt. I'm using a Makita router for now um cobalt actually just come out with one for technically makers and cnc machines and actually has a picture of this um cnc on it the lowrider v3 so it was made for cncs but you can use it as another you know like a regular palm router or whatever but <clears throat> i had some uh braided loom from you know doing ls swaps and stuff like that so i went ahead and uh used the braided loom on the wires for this. So this one goes here, it'll move back and forth. I still kinda gotta figure out how I wanna, how I wanna do that. Cause it'll, I feel like it'll get caught um, going back and forth. This right here is technically for the vacuum hose. So a vacuum hose can come and go right here. So it'll suck up a lot of that dust. Uh, my buddy Lawrence Sanborn, he made this uh, table for me, welded up, real nice, rigid. Um, we recessed this section, so my spoil board will go down on this, and it should sit pretty flush. There's about a one-inch gap from here to here on either side for that 4 by 8 sheet to go in there. That way, if there is any material, it doesn't get up on the rails, and on this side the bearing is the is the wheel so and it rides directly on this two by two here so i wanted the gap so that stuff can fall down there is stuff that's going to get on here but i wanted to be able to get make a gap and i may actually put um a piece of plexi or something to go 
along that so that uh it, just to help keep some of the debris off of the off of the rails we'll just kind of have to see how it goes some of the guys that have built these they don't um some of these guys actually take this and they build a bracket and it brings this down and then they run a piece of uh uh uni strut here and then the belt this whole system rides inside that that uni strut so then technically it's covered <clears throat> but um you know they've had their machines for a while so they've been upgrading and whatnot they were all at the point where i'm at right now where you know get it together i want it to run make stuff with it and um yeah so it's been been an interesting build probably other than doing ls swaps you know it's <laughs> probably the next craziest thing that i've that i've done this uh piece here has the board the control board inside of it um i'll put a piece of actually has some carbon filter just extra pieces laying around so i'll put that in there to keep the dust and stuff from blowing in there and technically this piece i modified on tinkercad to mount this fan because technically it was just flush across the top and so what i did is i uh, imported this into tinkercad and made a mounting plate put the holes for the 80 millimeter fan and uh, that way i could mount that some of the guys they don't have fans on there but I assume those drivers get warm. You can't really see in there, but they have heat sinks on them. So, plus it was my first thing that I brought into Tinkercad and altered myself. So, um, I was pretty proud of myself on that. Um, one of the first projects that guys do for this is the they attach a pin to this and you draw a crown. Once you draw the crown and you're successful with it, then you can basically move on. And so the next piece is actually building the, uh, the support piece that goes across the back and goes across the front. So it, it makes this more, more rigid. Um, it is pretty rigid now, but it's got a, a little give to it. So you bolt on that support piece and uh, makes it more rigid. So, I hope you all like the uh, low rider here. I still need to cut this piece off. I'll probably leave just a little bit. Um, just because. Because this actually goes, it'll go all the way back and that last wheel um, it comes out here just a little bit. So I'll leave it. Or the, the last, yeah, the last wheel comes out to like right at this edge. So I want to be able to just have safety piece. I don't want it to fall off. I'll put a cap on the other end, you know, and maybe put a little bit of a, a lip on this so that that wheel can't fall off. Because it actually doesn't have limits going this way. It only has limits at that end on either side. Anyway, that is my... Lowrider V3 from V1 Engineering. I'll put a link in the description of, you know, where you can find this and make it yourself. They've got several other um, machines. This machine you can actually make smaller if you wanted to make it a two by two, four by four. You know, I did a four by eight. You could do eight by eight. You know, it's whatever you desire. Um, and then they have another one. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but anyway, it um, it's got it's. I feel like it'd be a little bit more rigid, but it's actually taller too, so it needs to be it needs to be more rigid. But you can mount it on you know a table like this on top of a top of a toolbox, um, or you could make it, and it, it's a square machine, so it's equal two by two, four by four. But you could make a freaking eight by eight machine with that one. Um, or if you want it small, just something to have on a desktop or, you know, on a desk, you could, like I said, you could mount it on a little workbench and it would be fine. Um, so they have those two 
Then they also have a 3D printer. And so the big thing about this is, is it, it being 3D printed. So most of these parts that run on this thing are all 3D printed. All this, except for the conduit and obviously the motors and the, the screws and stuff. But everything else, you know, all of this is all, even this piece right here that holds the router, it's all 3D printed. So if you have a 3D printer, you can print it all yourself. If you don't, you can buy it from Ryan on v1engineering.com. And um, I think it's actually v1e.com. But anyway, uh, and then you can actually buy these uh, pieces right here. You can buy them in aluminum and that's what I chose to do. So it was a little more rigid, uh, but you don't have to. I think you can, I think they might have a file for 3D printing it. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure. And then what else? Oh yeah, so they also have a 3D printer. So you could build yourself a, a mostly printed 3D printer if you wanted, and it's actually a really nice printer. Um, there's a lot less documentation on that than there is the CNC's. And then he has the Zen XY, which is kind of like what this is, but it only runs on two motors, but it's technically not to cut anything out. So it actually gets, you build it, you turn it upside down and you put a magnet and you build a table. And on the other side of the table, you put sand and um, you like program it or whatever. And it'll draw kind of like those, uh, the Zen gardens with the rakes and shit. Well, this is, it's ran by a CNC. So it'll, you just put in the shape and stuff that you want. And then it'll sit there and slowly trace it out on a coffee table or whatever you decide to put it in. But anyway, this video has become too long for just showing this. So I hope y'all enjoy it.